Hello, I'm Mary Honeyball, Labour MEP for London, and with me is Holly Sutton, my Press Secretary. In order to mark International Women's Day, we are having a debate about quotas for women, quotas for Parliament and political representation, as well as for other positions such as company directors. We thought it would be a good idea to discuss quotas, as it is a question which arouses a great deal of interest, not to say opposition. Women themselves are very divided on the issue. I'm very much in favour of quotas. Indeed, we already have a quota system in that men choose men. It took all women shortlists to raise the number of Labour women MPs to 27% of the Parliamentary Labour Party. Compare this with the Tories, who incidentally oppose quotas, where only 9% of their MPs are women. Quotas do work, and I don't believe we will get significantly more women elected representatives without them. Holly will show you, I know, a different perspective, so over to you, Holly. Quotas can be said to be a sticking problem on a much wider problem. They address the problem of discrimination at the end of the problem rather than tackling the root causes. Quotas are widely unsupported. Results of a recent Eurobarometer poll, poll just published yesterday said that only 10% of women and 12% of men support the idea of quotas to increase women's representation in politics. Enforcing quota systems on society could undermine women's autonomy in the workplace, giving them reasons to take umbrage against female bosses who they see as hoisted into positions above them through quota-based employment practices. Such a situation could give men reason to continually question women's authority in positions of power, even once the quota systems are removed. Democratically, quotas are against opportunity for all, as women are given preference over men, taking freedom away from the voters, and they can often ben just benefit the wives, daughters, cousins, relatives of traditional male politicians, not women who've developed relationships of their own. Women want to be elected on their own merit, not just as part of a quota, this, as this undermines their positions. Quotas might depreciate the value of women, implying that successes are just described to quotas. It betrays women as a species that must be protected and promotes the damaging victim stereotype. Well, Holly, that's certainly another point of view. And I hope you who are watching us have got strong views of their own. I'd very much like to hear from you, so please visit my blog, The Honeyball Buzz.